I don't know how I made these gorgeous rhinestone pink girly glam gorgeous coffee table books or vanity room books. Stay tuned. These books go for $118.80 on Etsy, so I'm inspired by it and I decided to make it for cheaper. This is not even half, this is not even a fraction of the price with how much it cost me to make this. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's do this DIY video and you're going to see the rest of all these books and how I made them. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you watch this video. Hit the like button and let's do this video. You up in pain, oh, shit. Tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Oh, 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 oh. Life could be a dream. Then I think I'm glad you come to you. Then I think I'm my whole life like you. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Shaboom, then open a big old life could be a dream. Then I think I'm glad you come to you. Then I think I'm my whole life like you. So I like to start off each project with telling you the items you would need to make it. The first thing you're going to need is this book right in front of me from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree come with a lot of books just for one dollar and you want a good size for this project. I just picked random books in Dollar Tree. You're also going to need this rhinestone piece that they have here. I got it from Amazon. It's some rhinestone trim, 10 yards. I'll put the links down below. To everything I use, I'll have links down below to where you can get them from if it's online. And get AB crystals. You're also going to need this roll here. I got this also from Amazon. I love the pearly look it has to it. It's so pretty. And, and I'm going to put the link down below to it where you can find it on Amazon. So cheap as well. It's under $10. And this is for the um, cover of the book, the contact paper that you're going to need for the cover. You're also going to need to go and print these out at Office Depot. I also get them for a glossy finish instead of regular paper because it just makes it look more expensive if it's, on, if it's on a glossy paper, as you can see. When it's on regular paper, I find it very cheap looking. So you want it to be on glossy paper, which only costs a few cents more than the regular price of printing. And as you can see, it just looks so expensive and just it feels good as well. You're also going to need paper. I got my paper from Hobby Lobby. Um, I ended up not needing this for the project, but don't worry. Still get it because you might want this paper in, in Hobby Lobby. And it's 79 cents, but I got all of my paper half off because they were doing a sale. So here is one of them. I like this pearl finish. Um, I ended up not using this one, by the way. Spoiler alert, but it's just this gorgeous, nice... Um, pearly looking sparkly paper um, $1.99 but as I told you I got half off and the one behind is like a darker pink but I love this one so much I, I've used this before in a lot of projects before and again it's also $1.99 and it's also, also half off at Hobby Lobby you also need some stickers for your words. So I found this at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. This was also on sale, half off. So I got it cheaper. It's got letters in it as well. No, it's got um, um, numbers in it as well. If in case you want to add numbers to your book, you can use those stickers as well. I got white and I got just simple font. And I got like a darker glittery pink that matches the paper. I just think it's so pretty. And then I went to Michael's and I found this gorgeous nice fancy font glittery fonts and I just love them these stickers so this is at Michael's and it was also half off it's just so pretty and it looks like rhinestones so I had to get it so that's all you would need you also need a hot glue gun scissors and you know other little things some glue and you'll see as we go along what you'll need but I just I'm obsessed with this sticker so pretty it looks so expensive when it, you're gonna see as we go along with this project You're going to need your hot glue gun. 
so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut these away, obviously. And I'm going to just give a bit of space because I'm going to mess about, I'm going to mess about with it on the actual book. So I'm just going to cut these off. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Put it on the book and kind of see where I want it to be. But remember, this is all going to be covered, but I'm just going to like measure it out and see how much of the white in the background that I want to be there. to do the same with the rest of them and just basically trace because they all seem to be about the same size so basically I'm going to just copy that same look for the rest of the pictures that I have and it's going to be this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically keep that piece that I just took off this piece and I'm going to trace this shape so I'm going to keep this piece and I'm going to put this paper, uh, you're, going to, you're going to see what I'm about to do with this piece. In this paper that I showed you, the one I got from Amazon, the pink paper, I'm just going to take this and put it on the pink paper and I'm going to trace this shape. So you're going to need a ruler to hold this down, so, because it's going to want to keep rolling, so you're going to need a ruler and something heavy to hold heavy items to have this laid out straight so you want to get it as close to the edge as possible so what you're going to do is just cut around this so you have this exact measurement and shape of this cover the book cover so that's what i'm going to do right now okay so i cut around here and i forgot to add that you have to add at least a good enough space because you're going to fold it like that over the book so when you cut add some inches like two inches more to your paper because you're going to fold this to cover pretend this is the book you're going to be covering it like this so that's what you need to do is just add some inches and what i'm doing is i'm just cutting around this piece here you have to be very very careful with because you can easily get bubbles but the good thing about this exact paper that i have in amazon from amazon is that it doesn't you can it's very forgiving you can always go back and fix it but you just have to be careful because you don't want to keep going there. Take it tight. I made a mistake when I was doing it. And make sure everything is really flat. And on the other side as well. So when you've done that, you're going to just cut sideways. Make some points in the corner and on this corner as well. done two of them now I have one more to do and it's starting to come along really really good like as you can see so that's how it should look like when it's done it should be folded up it doesn't matter how neat you get it inside as long as it's folded in inside and no one can tell I mean that's all you want like no one can tell they, they won't know they can't know Anyway, to quickly show you, I'm working on the other ones at the same time. So I just started with this one and I put the words on the side. I so started with the other one. This one says beauty and the other one says fashion. Um, as you can see. So now I'm going to start working on this main one that I want you dolls to follow. I'm actually going to be showing you how I attach the words on. So um, this one's going to say glamour. So I'm going to just attach the words on now. So I'm now going to attach the words on with the stick. Special way to do this, you're literally just peeling this off and attaching it on. I'm going to just move this to the side. And oh my goodness, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. I didn't even know this would be too big for it. It's so huge. I didn't know the book needs to be bigger. So I'm going to try my best to fit this on. So I'm going to make it work because we're going to put rhinestones over it anyway, so you're not going to see. But I just love these stickers so much. They look so glamorous and so pretty. And they have this sparkle to it, so it looks like a rhinestone. That came out. I made it work. I put them, I fit it as much as I can. Um, next time, get a bigger, like slightly thicker. These are the sizes they had. I should have used this one because it would have fit on this one perfectly. This book here, this one. 
would have fitted better but let's just go with what we have but anyway so I was wondering probably I'm going to put some words up here I don't know if I want that yet we'll see how it is when we go along maybe at the end of this I might but um now I'm going to stick this on and um because I think because this book's going to go on top so I was thinking maybe I can have my name across it or something it might look really pretty I think we're going to do that because this is going to be the one that's going to be on top of all the other books so we're going to have like this so I'm thinking wow it looks so pretty already so I'm thinking of just having a word on top here it's last minute to put my name I know it's so random but it's it looks so pretty they look like diamonds so that's how it's going to just say LB Glamour I just thought that's really pretty so now I'm going to add the picture on I cut the edges off so I'm just going to use my glue stick and put like a lot of glue more towards the corners of it and in the middle so it sticks nicely you want it all around the corners a lot of glue and you don't want it too bumpy by the way I don't know why I did that and you're just going to stick that right in the middle like this until it looks normal there we go as I said you don't want it bumpy so I'm just going to slightly peel that off and make sure I restick that to where there's no bump because if it's bumpy it's going to look tacky it's diamonds and I'm going to this trim here and I'm going to attach it around the edges of the book so normally I'll use E6000 glue, E6000 glue for this, but for some reason I don't know where my E6000 glue is because it's much easier than using a hot glue gun because you know how messy hot glue guns are. But this creates a fast quick bond too. So I'm just going to go all around the edges and just keep gluing and sticking it down. And try and use a small bead of glue as well because you don't want it too chunky and the glue showing. I'm going to add some more rhinestone just slightly across the edges. So this book only, the other ones are not going to have that. But just this book because this one's going to be the one on top. So this one's going to have all the extra stuff on it. What I'm going to do down on this side right here. But it's coming together so well, it's so pretty and so glam and so glittery. I can't wait to show you what's next. You dolls are going to love this. At the beginning when I was saying what you would need, I forgot to show this. So these are scraps that I've used on other DIYs. It's scrap AB crystal sheets and you can get these on Amazon. I always use AB because AB is just more, as you can see, it's more than the regular crystals. It's more shinier. And I have so many scrap leftover pieces from other DIYs. So I'm going to use it, as you can see, like I've used it on something before. So I'm going to use it on this project here. And what I'm going to do is I've cut them into strips, as you can see on the side here. And I cut them into specifically strips of two. So I'm going to be attaching them onto the edges of this book. So like this, you're about to see. I am gently going to attach the rhinestones to the edge. And I'm going to let them come to the bottom. No one's going to see the bottom of the book, so I just cut it off and bend it. And I'm just going to repeat that same process as many times as you want, as long as it doesn't cross over. On. I've done this part here and a little bit of this. I might fill this in in the end. I might leave it because I kind of think just leaving this like this and this part like this looks really good. But we shall see. I might fill it in in the end again if I change my mind. So now I'm going to work on these edges here and these edges here. Um, and then I'll go back to this. And I'm going to do this off camera. What I'm going to do is actually be attaching the paper to the, to the edge of it. And I'm going to do that off camera because, I mean, you can. it's not that hard to do. Um, and I'm going to just do that now. This is the fun part because you know you're about to finish the project when you get to this part. So I'm just attaching the rhinestone and now I'm going to do the glitter paper. Here. So this one's going to go like this because I'm going to stack them to where you can see this part. And this is going to be the top one that has all the detail on it. So you can see how I stacked it. So that's how it's going to stack. 
it's starting to look so pretty me being extra i also have rhinestones as well i just have to find where they are but i have like tiny little rhinestones so you see how this lamp is here like little things i'm just going to add some pearls on so maybe like their earrings i'm going to just add like pearls on their earrings maybe like a pearl on this little dog's bow like let me bring it up close to you see like every little detail in there i'm going to find a way to just add a pearl just to give it some dimension you can do whatever you want this is going to put as you can see i attached the pearls on there and you just have to be careful with the glue moving around but i was going to put more pearls like in there but i think as it is it's okay one it might get too tacky if i have too much going on let's just leave that but you can add rhinestones because that is a light so i want to add rhinestones in there but it's really hard putting this like putting pearls on without the right equipment so especially just using your fingers especially when you have long nails so this is how it's looking it's so pretty i'm going to stack them together and i'm going to show you how this turned out this one came out the top one so it has my name lb on top and from far these um my name looks like it's written in like glit like it's written in you can't even tell it's glitter you'll feel like they're diamonds so the earrings came out so good they look like actual pearls this is so pretty these will make really good gifts if you have the patience so pretty and then look where it says glamour wow dolls this is so gorgeous then here's the other one i just of course i left it plain because they're going to be stackable books i just love how this came out so this one says beauty it's so beautiful. The irony, it says beauty. Wow. And then this one says fashion. And it's the one that I use the paper on the side. So beautiful. Didn't use this paper in the end nor did we use the other paper that I showed you at the beginning, like half of the stuff. Nor did we use this one. <sighs> I guess I can save it for another project, but we didn't use those. So look at just how gorgeous these are, dolls. Oh my God, I can't stop staring at it. it around and put it by my bedside, and I think it looks so glam here. It just fits the whole theme. Ah, just so stunning. I just have to show you it. So I put on a mirror table by my bedside, and it's just so beautiful. I'm going to move everything around and make it look even more prettier. The pink flowers there, because I think the white flowers just look more refreshing. And I'm going to move this down and take the cup away. And here we have it. I think this looks. I think this looks perfect. Stunning. And if you're wondering, I have like a pearl and a diamond on the side. It just goes so well as bedside glamour. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're going to be making one of these, let me know in the comment section down below. I thoroughly loved making this project. It's so glamorous. I just can't get enough of it. As you can see, I can't stop staring at it. It's so beautiful and it, it just came out exactly how I wanted it to be and even better. So if you're going to be making one of these, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to see. Also tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see you on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye and have a fun time crafting. Bye. Bye dolls.